If I gave you a unique pendant and asked you to design a necklace that would show it off, how would you do that? I'm Marilyn Gardner, designer, author, and teacher of modern chainmail jewelry. And today I want to talk about the necklace that I'm wearing and about the design process that went into the making of it. So let me um, take it off and I'll swing it around. And there's a lobster clasp that I'll open. Okay, this is the pendant that I started with. It's made of polymer clay and it's quite flat, but it's a beautiful black and turquoise color. So the first thing that I decided was, well, first of all, it's going to have some chain mail, but I wanted a weave that was flat. So I chose Japanese 12 and 2 as my um, weave that I would that I would work with. And then I had to decide, okay, what shape would I create the different elements? And I decided on a triangle shape. It could have been round, but I liked this triangular kind of fan at the top of the pendant. And so I did, that's why I decided I would make a triangle shape from the Japanese weave. So I made several of them so I would have something to play with. Next thing I did was, okay, colors. Well, beautiful turquoise and it's black. So I decided that I have some black jump rings and so I would do the jump rings in black, the, the chainmail part. And then I found some turquoise beads. And you can see they're, they're a mottled shade and they have some black in them. I also uh, wear a lot of silver and I've got, there is a silver um, link glued onto the back of the pendant that gives you a loop that you can work from and, and you can suspend the pendant from that loop. So I went to my stash and chose a size of turquoise bead that wasn't too big, it wasn't too small. And because I like silver, I decided I would add some silver beads. And the rule of three comes into play. So turqu two turquoise on either side uh, I'm sorry, a turquoise bead on either side of the silver one, and then just repeat. So this is where the center is, and so a black element, a turquoise and silver element, black, turquoise and silver, and the, f the final length depended on what I wanted for my necklace, and I didn't want it to be really short, although maybe that's what you would like, I wanted it to be longer uh, necklace. And I chose the lobster clasp to do it up because it's quite secure and easy enough to do and undo. And you can see that because the pendant is flat, the necklace also sits very flat. So, if you're interested in this design process, go to MarilynGardner.com and click on the shop tab and take a look at the two books that I've written because the necklaces in both of those books follow this same kind of idea about playing with chain mail.